Hello my friends, this is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about my thoughts as a prison wife on inmates that wind up dating correctional officers, female officers that work inside of the prisons. And also we are going to hear from a woman who works in a prison and dates an inmate at a different facility. We're going to hear her thoughts, we're going to hear from her, and then I'm going to tell you my take on the matter. So if you're interested in a prison wife's thoughts on staff that works inside of a prison and winds up falling in love with an inmate, please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I am the author of a book called The Comeback Code. I am the founder of a nonprofit organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families, and I have been using my own personal experiences to coach prison wives and family members since 2009. We do not glorify or glamorize prison life, prison wife life, or street life here. We are trying to live above stigma, beat statistics, and make the best of this one-shot deal. If you like this content, need support, or want to learn more about prison life, prison wife life, etc., or you just want to see more of this pretty little face, make sure that you hit subscribe. Ring that notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you like this content, I would really appreciate if you just give me a thumbs up before you leave. Okay, so first let's start with this letter that I had a CO slash also prison wife write to me. What happened was she commented on my videos last fall and I reached out to her and I said, would you want to come on my channel for an interview? And she said, yeah. And then she contemplated it and she spoke to her husband about it and she really wanted to contribute. But the problem was that she was afraid to put her face out there because she has to protect herself from her job. A hundred percent hands down. I totally get it, no hate. So she compromised and she said, instead, I'm just gonna write out my thoughts and you can read it to your viewers. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna read the letter and then I will give you my thoughts. So this woman says, howdy folks. I was asked to share my story and after talking to my husband, I decided that I should. We have somewhat of a unique situation. I am a 28 year old female and my husband is 30. We've been married for seven years. He's from Texas and I'm from Arkansas. Our relationship is different from most. My husband has been in prison since 2008 and I have been a correctional officer since 2015. Some may think that's weird and I've been asked, how can you be an officer while having a husband in prison? My answer is always the same. I'm the type of person that wants to make a change in the world. I like to encourage people and I figure I can do that for someone who feels hopeless. Prison is a hopeless negative place with lots of people who've had a hard life. I find it that many of these inmates can tell me their stories and I'll listen. I'm able to give them advice. They don't know it, but a lot of the advice that I give back to them comes from knowing what it's like being their loved one. Yes, I do my job and sometimes I have to write up cases, but overall I found that most inmates, if you give them respect, they give you respect in return. One thing that I think most people are the most surprised about is that my husband is the one that encouraged me to go work there. Then of course, when I tell people that, they ask me, why would he do that? It's because he's made me learn how to stand up for myself and also how to learn street smart. I grew up in a family where I didn't need to know that. And in this day and in this generation, he thinks that's something that I need to learn. But he didn't tell me any of this until after I started working there. When it comes to being the wife of an inmate and then also going to work in a prison, it's not always easy. But I think people may be surprised to know that there are plenty of officers that work in a prison and also have a loved one who's serving time. I hear a lot of these officers talk about inmates like they're less than human. Some of these officers try to talk to these inmates any type of way, but then they get mad when the inmates speak back to them in the same manner. At times I see it too. I've even been asked to lie without people coming out straight and saying, will you lie for me? Of course I would never, and I told my supervisor, I'm not going to lie. I've had other officers come to me and ask me to lie about situations that have happened. Once I told an inmate to stop talking, I told him about three times, but he kept carrying on. So I told him to give me his identification card. And instead of handing it to me, he kind of tossed it at me. So it fell out of my hand. My coworker said, that's assault. Who else was there? 
When I told the other officer, they said, oh yeah, we'll lie for you. My response was no. If I have to lie, then I don't need to write a case. I've been called an inmate lover and word among staff is that I'm inmate friendly. My response is always the same thing. How can we as officers correct their behavior when we're acting just as bad or worse? What kind of example are we? Our job is not to punish them. Being there is their punishment. Unless they're doing wrong, we should not mess with them. In training, they tell us that, but some don't follow it. But I have to say, I have some good coworkers. I have some that even ask me about my husband and how we're doing. At work with the other officers, I'm not shy about my husband being in prison. I'm sure some look down on me for that, but I don't care. I've heard some of their stories and I know that they've done stuff no worse than the inmates. They just didn't get caught. Some officers do admit that. Some are there to do a job and go home to their family. I've heard stories from them about the corrupt system and the crazy things they've seen or have been a part of. Some of these stories are awful and some are sad. Out of all of the officers I've talked to before and after I became a correctional officer, they all say the same thing. They have more trouble from staff than they do the inmates. And that is something I agree with. But I will say, I've also seen some things from the officer's point of view too. Inmates lying on staff. I've had that happen to me five separate times. And I've seen inmates get caught doing stuff they know is wrong. Then they get mad when they catch a case. I've seen some nasty inmates. Some of the nasty things I've seen are using the bathroom in the shower, not bathing, coming out of the bathroom without washing their hands, then eating or messing with food. Ugh wearing nasty clothes for days on end, and then getting blood on things without cleaning it up. Ooh. I've searched some living areas that look like they haven't been cleaned and I cannot tell you how long. I've seen inmates use the bathroom on themselves and put it under their bed with their clean clothes. Some of the inmates try to talk to the officers any kind of way, then get mad. I've also seen inmates get in trouble, then call their family and lie about what happened. If you're wondering if a lot of these inmates use their loved ones, especially ones they are in a relationship with, yeah, it does happen. I've been told about it and I've witnessed it for myself. Once I was going into work and I saw one of the inmates kissing their visitor, and I do not mean a peck. It was an intimate kiss. Well, that day, I happened to be working in the area they lived. When they came back from the visit, they were waving and blowing kisses and saying, I love you, to one of the other inmates. It truly disgusted me. I had an inmate tell me they were married, but had a boyfriend and a girlfriend out in the free world. Talk about a jaw dropper. Of course, when they tell me stories like that, I tell them how they are wrong. So people, if you do not know the inmate you're in a relationship with well, please be careful. No, not all are that way, but some are. It happens more than I even realized until I saw and heard it for myself. I would like for you all to know that just like not all inmates are horrible people, that also applies to correctional officers and police officers as well. Some of us are truly there to encourage others and help our world. With that being said, it takes a strong person to work with those who have committed crimes. Well, the ones that have done pure evil and aren't trying to change. While I work in a minimal security unit and we don't deal with the pure evil type every day, not everyone is in that position. Some of the people behind bars are evil and do not care about anyone but themselves. I will say that before working at a prison, I was blinded by some of it. It has opened my eyes. With saying that, I still stand behind what I said before. I became a correctional officer to help people and I still agree with it years later. There is corruption in the system as a whole. There are correctional officers and police officers that are just as evil and sometimes worse than people with criminal records. But before you automatically assume they are evil, understand not all are that way. I know I always hate it when people assume because my husband is an inmate that he's a liar, a user, and a terrible person that he is not capable of change. If you do not want people to automatically assume that about your loved one, please do not assume that about all correctional officers or officers in general. And that is coming from someone who had a bad experience with a corrupt police officer and has had to call the unit my husband was at to tell them I know the rules and they were not following them. 
Some of us officers truly do care and we want to make a difference. Overall, I like my job and I enjoy most of my coworkers. I do not regret working there. It has given me a new look on how the system works and why certain things happen. Having this job has provided me a way to not only pay my bills, but I can also make a difference. It has also allowed me to be able to see my husband every weekend, get multiple calls a day, and give him things he wants and needs. In other words, her salary. It also allows me to go to college and get a degree. By the grace of God, my husband will be coming home soon. He made parole. Yay! Once he's released, we plan on starting a family as soon as possible and eventually moving back to my home state where we have lots of plans. I am so glad this journey for us is almost over. I know it's a struggle and I cannot imagine what you go through if your loved one has a life sentence. Just know you have someone that is praying for you. Sending all love and hugs from a correctional officer that loves her inmate husband. Oh, I love this letter. Now let's dissect it. I want to say, first of all, thank you to this woman who wrote this beautiful heartfelt letter. I really, really appreciate that you took the time to do this, even though it's an uncomfortable situation for you. Because I've seen across the board on so many prison wife pages where these women get all bent out of shape when a correctional officer who winds up in a relationship with an inmate comes to the group for support, they attack her often. And usually it's from insecure women who say, you're the woman that is our biggest fear like basically they're saying that that woman is their biggest enemy but here's the thing I want you to hear me loud and clear if your husband is going to cheat on you while in prison with a correctional officer your husband is going to cheat on you out on the street with any other woman who has a vagina because it is not the fact that there is a woman working inside of the facility it's the fact that your husband's a cheater Okay, just because he's locked up with all men and there are very few women in there doesn't change his personality type. It doesn't change the fact that he's being unfaithful to you. So that said, I, I can't get down with those women. I can't get down with that jealousy, with that insecurity, with that attacking behavior and with those low level thoughts. It's messed up for an inmate to date a correctional officer if he's in a relationship on the outside. Yes, it's against the rules for an inmate to date a correctional officer. This woman's relationship started prior to her becoming a correctional officer, but I will say that that is against the rules. That is an abuse of power on the books. There's Priya and all that stuff involved. Does it happen? Yeah. Am I upset by it? Not really. Like my, it's, it's not Adam's case and people find love in different situations. Do I condone it? I'm gonna plead the fifth on that. I, it's just, it happens. It happens. If it's an abuse of power, that's something very different. Do I think it should be happening in there? I think it's a sticky, dangerous situation because of the power there and because it can be flipped. It happens very often that it could be the inmate creating a trap for the correctional officer so then they can later claim that they were abused in a Priya type of situation. If you don't know what Priya means, P-R-E-A, look it up so I don't have to say the words because YouTube's gonna demonetize this video if I do. But basically, it's kind of become blanket slang for sexual abuse inside of prison, although it shouldn't because it's a very serious thing. So aside from that, I think this letter highlights so many different areas that I've always tried to touch on on my channel, that I've touched on a lot in the past, that I can touch on more in it in the future, again, if you wanna just comment below on things you'd like me to elaborate on. But basically, she talks about the mental health crisis and what's going on inside of prisons with inmates. Adam has confirmed that there are so many people in jail who should be in mental health institutions and not locked up behind bars. People who are going to the bathroom on themselves, playing with that, or hiding it under the bed, that's a mental health issue. That's a problem. She also touches on the red flags. And I've talked about inmates from the inside are often using people on the outside and making them believe that they're in relationships but have those types of relationships with many different women. I have plenty of videos if you wanna search my videos back on the channel about that. My most watched one, the one that I like to push the most, is called Red Flags in a Prison Relationship, and I will link it in the cards up there for you to watch it if you have not seen it yet. I've talked about a woman whose husband thought that she should be okay with him having 
for other women on the outside and he couldn't understand why she wasn't okay with it because she was the number one girl. There's four other women who think they're the number one girl, so there's that. And then another woman came in and said that her husband had 10 other women and she found that out later on. Oh, these poor women. And she touches on something that I talked about in the past as well on a live video where not all people who are in law enforcement or correctional officers or police officers are bad. There are good seeds and bad seeds and good apples and bad apples in every single bunch. There are very evil inmates who do deserve to be in prison and there are very evil correctional officers who abuse their power and who also deserve to be inmates and locked in the prison and shouldn't be allowed to go home to their families at night. There are really good inmates who are trying their hardest to rehabilitate themselves and work for a second chance. For example, one off the top of my head, Adam Bentley Clawson my husband. Or there are correctional officers who try their hardest to do their best, like this woman who just wants to help people, who just wants to go in and do a job and get her paycheck and do it to the best of her ability without abusing power. So I don't know how this video just turned into 23 minutes, but that's it. That's where I'm going to leave you guys today. I'd love to know your thoughts about this letter in the comments below. All love, no hate. You guys, let's be nice to each other and let's be nice to this woman who went out of her way to write this. If you do not agree with what I said about women who get all bent out of shape about correctional officers inside dating inmates, you can respectfully disagree with me in the comments below. I'm so open to constructive feedback. I'm so open to tough love. I'm so open to your opinions and to agreeing to disagree if it's administered in the appropriate manner. I love you guys with all of my heart. Keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart. And of course, Adam's heart to all of yours. I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys.